Cushing syndrome is a rare disorder that occurs when your body has too much of the hormone cortisol for a prolonged period of time. Cortisol is produced by the adrenal glands in our kidneys and is often known as the stress hormone because it helps our body respond to and regulate stress. It also plays an important role in maintaining blood sugar and blood pressure levels. A person can develop Cushing syndrome when their body accumulates excess cortisol from either outside or inside the body. The most common cause of Cushing syndrome is the prolonged use of anti-inflammatory medications called glucocorticoids, such as prednisone, which is often used to treat arthritis and asthma. A person can also develop Cushing syndrome if a tumor on the adrenal glands produces excess cortisol. Cushing disease is a form of Cushing syndrome, which occurs when a tumor in the pituitary gland, located at the base of the brain, causes the gland to produce too much adrenocorticotropic hormone, otherwise known as ACTH. This is a hormone your pituitary gland releases that trigger your adrenal glands to release cortisol. Thus, the release of too much ACTH results in the release of too much cortisol. Who is likely to develop Cushing syndrome? Cushing syndrome is rare, as an estimated 10 to 15 million people are affected yearly. Your age may be a risk factor for developing the disorder, as it is most often found in adults between the ages of 25 to 50. Women are three times more likely to develop Cushing syndrome. The disorder is often problematic and can lead to many complications, including high blood pressure, muscle weakness, vision problems, depression, menstrual changes, and fertility issues in women. Cushing syndrome symptoms often vary from person to person and often appear slowly over time. Signs include a round reddened face, a fatty hump between the shoulders, wide purple stretch marks, especially on the chest, belly, and armpits, skin changes such as acne, excessive facial hair, and easy bruising, and lastly, unusual weight gain, especially around the belly. Cushing syndrome can be hard to diagnose, as many of the symptoms, including weight gain and fatigue, usually overlap with other conditions. Due to this, it's very common for Cushing syndrome to be misdiagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome or metabolic syndrome. To avoid misdiagnosis, the doctor may focus on ruling out other conditions prior to diagnosing patients with Cushing syndrome. Diagnosis tests usually focus on medical history, lab tests, and completing a physical examination. The doctor may also want to know the current medication that the patient is on as it may contribute to the cause of Cushing syndrome. Currently, there are three diagnostic tests available for Cushing syndrome. Urinary free cortisol test, late night salivary cortisol test, and a low dose dexamethasone suppression test. All these tests involve collecting lab samples and having them lab tested to determine cortisol level. One of the tests available is a urinary free cortisol test. This test involves collecting urine samples over 24 hours and having the samples lab tested for cortisol levels. Higher than normal levels of cortisol can indicate that the patient has Cushing syndrome. Late night salivary cortisol test is also a test used to diagnose Cushing syndrome. This test includes collecting saliva samples in the late evening to test for cortisol levels, as cortisol levels are normally known to drop when we are falling asleep. If a patient's cortisol levels do not drop, this can indicate that they have Cushing syndrome. Finally, the last test used is a low-dose dexamethasone suppression test. This test includes taking a small dose of dexamethasone around 11 p.m. Dexamethasone is a form of glucocorticoid, which as previously mentioned, is one of the most common causes of Cushing syndrome. The following morning, a healthcare professional will draw your blood to determine your cortisol levels. No drop in cortisol levels after taking dexamethasone may suggest that the patient has Cushing syndrome, as cortisol levels normally drop after taking this medication. Due to advancements in medicine, Cushing syndrome is almost completely treatable as of 2023. If the condition cannot be treated, its associated complications can be directly managed. There are three ways of managing and or treating Cushing syndrome. However, all three methods rely on the principle of cortisol production. First approach is to tackle and manage some of the symptoms experienced by Cushing syndrome patients is through lifestyle alterations. Patients with Cushing syndrome are encouraged to make a reduction in body weight and BMI measurement. Doctors recommend at least 150 minutes of intense physical exercise to lower the risk of cardiovascular congestion, cardiac stroke, and coronary artery disease. The second lifestyle change recommended by health professionals involves an alteration to the diet of the patient. Patients are encouraged to reduce their intake of salt, which is in abundance in unhealthy food options like fast food. Reduction in salt is necessary in order to reduce the risk of hypertensive symptoms caused by Cushing syndrome. 
Lastly, patients with Cushing syndrome are also prescribed medication that rely on inhibiting cortisol through various pathways. If medication management is unsuccessful, the doctor might recommend surgery to remove the tumor responsible for overactive cortisol production. In summary, Cushing syndrome occurs when your body has too much of the hormone cortisol. It can cause a wide range of physical and emotional complications, but symptoms can improve with treatment. If you have symptoms that suggest Cushing syndrome, you should contact your local healthcare providers.